for Pipes draft. Your team is Are we going to see a national city in the band? Uh, yeah, I think so, maybe. But ma one of the things I wanted to point out is I don't think Bren is going to play Franco Your anymore. I think they need to leave the Franco because Franco because Archangel really know how to play around it. They have to find something else to something. Okay. Okay. I totally agree on that one. Franco, you need to put it aside now. You can have you can have your main basic tank now. You need that Akai, Grok. You need that Minotaur and Archangel. If they wanna do, they wanna win this, they need to to be consistent. Nanal na na ngayon it's two two. They need to try their best. Even for Brent, kailangan lang gawin yung mga kain nila cause there's wala pang pang two Peter sa ML sa MPL wala pang two Peter. They need they wanna have that two Peter. They need to win this game definitely. We think oh priority then the Archangel on banning out the Cho. Because it's so comfortable with Hayes with some red esports side, and they can also play it on a on a fighter role. But we are kind of surprised for the first time in forever. Wow. Had it, ang iba ba? Oh. So Your this visit Kimi was picking. available, pero sabi ng Archangel, okay, we don't care about the Kimi, we want the Grok. What can you say about this? Ay para sa akin, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good um, pick off coming from uh, Ar Archangel. Now, kaganina, ganto din yung naganap kaganine. Eh. Kinuwa din ng brain yung uh, yung Tamus and Lunox Kaga just to deny that Lunox from Archangel because they're easy to use there. If they want to do a composition-wise, Archangel, 90% of their game, they have that Tamus. So they're denying it right away, but then it will open up a lot of hero for Archangel. For example, like Chu, ah, Kufra, I mean, sorry. Kufra, Kari, when they deny the Tamus. But it didn't work out in the last game. If they can make it work out now, they can make it happen. Lunox and Tamus, of course. Isa sa mga set of picks na gusto rin ng Archangel. So this is also a deny pick mula sa Brave Esports para nakuha nila at natanggal pa nila mula sa Archangel themselves. Now Archangel really taking a lot of time into the set of picks. We'll Ooh. go for the Kaja na available and Leomord as well. Whoever Leomord. holds the Leomord mukhang sila pa yung nananalo dito. So, what can you tell me about this Kaja na sobrang dalas iban? Now yeah. it's on the Archangel side. Is this a winning formula already? This is a really big winning formula. The fact that na may Leo Mordga in combination with Jay on that Kaja, nakikita natin, pag may Kaja si Jay, he makes magic happen. Kahit na talaga mangyari, ang galing niya talaga gumawa ng place, no matter what no matter what situation, whether it's early game, whether it's ganking in the lane, whether it's late game na makuha niya yung carry, every single time he makes something happen with that, with that Kaja. Yung isa akin naman kasi, uh, we're talking about two heroes that can clear out yung creep wave na sobrang bilis. Again, Minotaur. if you're going to count it out, Your pag mabilis ka makapag-clear ng creep wave, mas mabilis ka rin makaikot. Di ba? Uh -oh. And Kaja, kaya isa rin yung mga reason kung bakit mat mataas siyang magano or lagi siyang ban, is the pick-up capability, divine judgment, the clear of the waves, and also the possible steal from the Grok with the power of nature. Yeah, one thing I wanted to point out then actually is the fact that, ang ganda ng minention mo, mabilis sila mag-clear ng waves. Uh, the Kaja, and especially the Grok. And normally, because naman brand esports, they really like to go for that early level four. I mean, everybody does, but they want that early advantage. And if you get that early level four in um, on the side of Archangel, mas madali mo siya shut down yung ar yung early aggression ng brand esports. True, true, true. Nga yung, yung like they said, um, Gaja is one of the best, maybe the second, maybe the third. Sabi natin pero Grok and Kaja on the same team. Oh. Pretty insane, kasi napakabilis yan magrotate, napakabilis magwave clear. That is very, very scary. Which makes me think that Brand Esports might have bit more than they could chew. Binan ngayon nila, yung Serena at least, para di sila malasan dito. But Tamus, as well as the Lunox, they want those early rotations sa kanila na pupunta. But because of the fact that the Grok and the Haji is available, they might find a hard time in this game. Totoo yun, kasi we saw that happen on last season from Brand. Yung last game nila, they're all tilted. Lahat na sila nag-choke. So, they just pick the hero that they want. Hindi na nag-communicate. It might happen here. It, it might really happen here. I, please, na hindi dumating sa point na ganun. Because this is the new era na magkakagawad ng 2-peter if they won this game. A big ban, Selena. A big ban, Selena. Kufra ang napili ng Freddy Sports. Now, Archangel, considering yung kanilang carry, Lasty as well as Jeff Kitty Forever. Chepre, Jeff Kitty Forever, napaganda na kanyang uh, performance with uh, Marksman. Mm -hmm. I think it could be replicated in this specific game. Gushon! Oh! Ang gustong ilabas ng Archangel. 
Is this the pick that they are looking for? Is this the answer sa Tamos at sa Lunox? I mean, it's super hard to say, pero para <laughs> sa akin, it's a bad, bad pick. Dahil sa Kufra, dahil sa Tamos. If it, it was Kadita, kaya niyang cancelin yung Minotaur, kaya niyang cancelin yung, yung skill ni, ni Kufra. So that will be hard. So, Ooh. Koko, taking that um, Hanabi, he had a good, very good game exactly on that Hanabi. So, this will be a good matchup. Pero sana, ang Brent at ang Archangel, they need to give it 100% here. Mas masayang panahonin. Uh, you know what? About 100%. Mukhang more than 100% pinigay nila because this are, these are the aces of their steam. Sinabi natin yung gusto natin ng unexpected wala sa nila. Mm. Nilabas yung Gushon, nilabas yung Hanabi. It's time for game number five. But I have to ask you, ano ang inyong predictions? That's Ikaw may hawak ng bola. What are your predictions? Ah, uh, nag-brand ako kanina eh. Pero looking at the draft here, medyo okay naman yung composition nila. Well, may meron silang wave, sabi ko nga kanina. Well, it will result for an early aggression. Pero kapag hindi nila nagamit yung ganung klaseng aggression from Archangel, they can be easily punished by uh, by Bren. But this one, uh, I'll go with Archangel. Archangel, para kay Kuya Tads. How about you, Mr. Uh, Illustrato? Archangel, Archangel, para Archangel. Illustrato. Archangel's gonna take this simply because ang ganda ng composition na and the early game ability for them to clear out the ways and be, they're gonna be able to shut down the early aggression of Bren Esports. Okay, how about you, Sir Doggy? This is it. Um, so, hindi ko talaga nagustuhan. Promise, hindi ko talaga nagustuhan yung Gushan pick doon. If it was Kadita, it would be insane. And I would vote for Arkenyo. But now, no. Bren! Bren lang malakas! Mag-ingay! Alright, Bren lang malakas para kay Doggy. But Archangel, para sa ating mga analysts there dito, we gonna pass it on to the most explosive duo, of course, Majin and Shinmu. Sa inyo na ang kwento ngayon. Mobile Legends, Pilipinas, ito ang huling laban ng FPL Season 3 God Finals. At kami, ang inyong magiging shoutcaster, muli ako si Chipo with the one for an eye. At ako naman si Manji. At, At kami, kami, ang Manji Butan din para sa laban ng Archangel at Brandy Sports. Let's go! Let's go! Bato muna kagad, Twin oh, Shinbu. Walang, walang, walang buwelo-buwelo dito. Lalo buwelo, pat buwelo. all in na tayo dito sa final game natin. Oh my G, ang pinaka huling Hura! Oo! Eto, totoo ba ang caster curse, ang panelist curse? Paring Shinbu, mm -hmm. si Doggy ngayon ang nakapwesto sa laging tumatama. Dalawa lang talaga yan. Na team. Oo, uh, dalawa lang talaga yan. Dato yung Bren lang malakas, Lipad Archangel. Dalawa lang talaga. Again, even Doggy is saying, sumiyo siya Bren malakas, di ba? Pero ngayon, parang ano, he's uh, saying na... Dito sa MPL, dito sa ating esports scene, parang hindi, hindi okay yung 2-pit, di ba? Hindi okay yung 2-pit. Hindi siya sa 2-pit. So ngayon, may bago tayong team. That is Archangel. May Pero team. again, yung brand din, they're out there to reclaim the throne. Tama ka ko yung Shinbu. Mm -hmm. After Season 1, mm -hmm. Season 1, Bren ang nagdedictate ng meta. Oh. Pero eto, okay. sa akin ni Direk, it's time! Let's, Let's go! go into, into the game, game, ladies and gentlemen! Ito ang huling! Oras natin, our final moments here sa Le Pavilion Metropolitan Park. So gusto namin kung kayo sumusuporta. Totoo. Promise, kung kayo sumusuporta sa mga teams na to, gusto namin kayo mag-ingay for one last time. So para sa mga sumusuporta sa Archangel Chan, mag-ingay! At para naman sa sumusuporta sa Bren, mag-ingay! The final game, ladies and gentlemen, Game 5. On the blue side, ayang Archangel Squad. Kiluwash para sa Limoid natin. Jay, on to the Kaja, Rio, for the Gushon, Lusty, on the Grab, and Jeff Cutie forever for this cat. Yuji ang gagamit dito, syempre, ng Lunox. Coco bilang ang Hanabi Pain, ang Kukra Haze, ang Minotaur, at si Paring Ribo. Ribo sa kanyang thumbs. Eto na, Paring Shibu. Oh, Nagkakalabasan na ng mga best picks dito. Oh, oh, oh. First time natin nakita ang Cushion yeah. sa laro. Yeah, yeah. Sa, sa ating series. Dito sa, sa ating series. Best of five. You're very curious talaga with the Harry getting bad, di ba? With the Harry getting bad, with the Claude getting bad. Parang ano yung mga pwede pang main zero dito dahil yung Lunox napunta na kay Yuji. Na yung napunta na kay Yuji. Yeah. At lagi nating tatanda, this is the first time na meron tayong game five. At ibang laruan ng game five Paring Shinbu eh Kasi there's the exhaustion Diba? Yeah. Even though Itong mga players natin Naglalaro sila sa mga Sa mga bootcamp nila Na 9 uh, hours 8 oh, oh, oh. hours a day Iba. Iba pa rin Kapag live ka naglalaro At napapanood ka ng mga tao Sa pro Lahat ay nakataya yeah. Lahat Everything. ay nakataya Everything Ang buhay ng isang pro player Again, we keep on mentioning that 
Dami yes. nating pro players ngayon. Ito ang lugar sa Pilipinas na may pinakamataas na MMR. Okay, itong Lepa Billion. Oh Again, ang buhay ng isang pro player, you give Magkaiba. it your all. You give it your very yes. best. Pero para maging champion, it's, kulang ang best. It's either you win mm -mm. Or, or you, you lose. lose. Yun lang ang dilemma ng mga pro player natin dito. Ito na ba ang download game ni Coach Panda? Onting information lang, Kuya Shinbu. Si Coach Panda kasi parang umpisa pa lang nung series, nagbigay na siya ng mga predictions sa oh, mga drop. Yeah. Kumbaga, lahat ng Nostra ng drop, sinulat niya, nilagay niya sa libro. Yes, ganun yes. Ganun na ganun. Yes, as in, uh, actually, umaabot nagpa-50. Diba? Ang output <laughs> yung, ng drop. Uh, oh. Yung scenarios na ni-roll out ni Coach Panda dito, Yun na will that be enough? Guiding a squad, a strong squad, Archangel to the Kings, and for, Bren Esports, so, diba? Oh. And for sure guys, sa mga nanonood dyan, live sa ating broadcast, eto ah, 3 minutes in, mukhang magiging play Wala. safe, yeah. magiging play safe mm -hmm. ang dalawa. Mm -hmm. Game 5, elimination, bawal kang magkamali ng pindot. Again, pare, nagpas like, isang milyon ang nakataya no, dito ah, ah, oh, oh. So, gets, itong pinakamalaking prize pool natin pagdating oh sa Mobile Legends sa buong Pilipinas. Oh my G. Hindi na nga lang yan sa prize pool eh. Oh. Yung titulo lang na pagiging pinakamalaka sa pinakasikip na laro dito sa pansa natin. Totoo, totoo. Magbabago ang buhay mo. Oh my G. Kuya Shin, who's thinking mabago buhay, Rio dito. Gushon, eto na eh. Mukhang puso game na yung laban dito eh. Oh. Wala nang meta-meta kung ano yung napipil na mga pagpintot na mga daliri ko. Gusto ko habang si Kiluwash ang ginugaw dito. Yeah. May lumabas na kabayo. That is very risky. The ultimate of pain missing out into the wall. And it's an easy 2-0 para sa Archangel dito. Speaking of easy 2-0, nakita mo naman si Jay dito. Very commendable kanina. Sinabi ng panelist natin, pag binigay mo yung kadya dito kay Jay, yung galaw ni oh! Ay, naku po! It's the classic Lusty once again! Oh my G, Lusty Mac, mga kaibigan! Ang pakpak, bumabalakpak na ngayon, men! Sabi ng Archangel, sabi ni Jay dito, ako ang Aquila, ako magdidikta ng early game. Jay, two assists and Lusty na din with a clutch play, yeah. paring Shin. You cannot discount it yet. Of course, we still have Ace, we still have UG there para sa laban natin. Pantayan lang natin because this is a team. Red Esports, very capable of making a comeback. Tignan natin dito dahil si Ace ang gumagamit ng Gip Lord. Pinakamagandang win rate sa laro. Eto ang Tyrant Shin. Tatamaan si Jay dito. May kagat ng pumula kay Ribu. Si Jay lumilipad lang. Yep. Lipad technique. Pero kadyan ang ginto. Yep. Pero still, AA ang namamayag yeah, pa. AA, yung 2 for 1 magiging 3 for 1. At pinalabog dyan ng mga patalim-talim dito ni Rio sa mukha mismo ng Bren Esports. This is looking bad para sa Bren kasi kung titignan mo oh ang Kuya Shinbu, napakataas and Jeff Cutie forever even though he has the bounty the bounty uh, the bounty emblem nakakapag-split po siya yeah. sa bandang top lane ang buong Pilipinas ay nanunood po ngayon and even those outside the country they're very curious who is the strongest team oh. in the Philippines in Mobile Legends and Archangel is a step closer at 5-1 on that story oh my G pare Bren ngayon Oh on a God. very tight situation gusto sana nila sila magdidikta oh, oh. Minotaur again sasabihin ko lang highest win rate na ngayong araw para sa laruan natin na to nagamit ni Kuya Hayes ang magiging dilemma ko dito pare koy oh my G paano sila makakapag set up yeah they have to be mindful though of Hayes maybe making the jump Hayes is in the front line medyo obvious sa telegram yung ganitong classing approach yes first members of Archangel would be backing out by the way sa mga nanonood ng mga tao dyan sa mga bahay nila oh, oh. yung mga bahay lords please do share our broadcast and put in the hashtag smart MPL and hashtag be legendary oh mga kaibigan another one it's a pick up from Jay and that is from Akaja isang hero na may bakpak lilipad na nga ba Ako ang agila, sabi ng Archangel, paring Shinbu, another turtle para sa kanila dito, Kuya Shin. This is too much. Paring Shinbu, uh -oh. ilang beses natin ito na panood eh. Bren Esports, may tendency silang mag-tilt uh -oh, kapag momentum game uh -oh, ang pre. usapan. Again, ang Bren Esports ang isa sa mga pinakamatibay na pundasyon. Totoo. Pero 
ang mga pundasyong mabibigat, matitibay pag naitulat mo. Medyo grabe ko magsasak. Medyo grabe talaga. And syempre, mas masakit ang pagbagsak kapag mm -hmm. ikaw ay nasa taas. Le sinabi natin dito, si Lam, pinakamalinis na galaw, pinakamagandang rotation nung entire group stage, uh, nung uh, entire regular season natin. Uh, Pero Archangel, pare, putting in something new to the table. Paring Manjin, wasak na ang huling Torres sa labas dito sa base ng Bren Esports. He's has to make a play. Oh my G! Nasa ng initiation dito ng Bren Esports. Paring Shinbu, this is Rio. so bad. Rio, tiwala lang, tiwala lang, okay? Oh, oh my God. my G! Six, nakakapanindig, nakakapanind, balahibo. 6-1 tayo ngayon, mga kaibigan. Sa mga 10K Golden Gear. Ito na ba ang Pico side? Archangel. Kuya Shinbu, oh. ang side ba ng Kidlat ay para sa mga pakpak ng Archangel dito. This is looking bad, Bren Esports. Seven minutes. Ang tagal na mga games natin kanina. Pero dahil sa aggression na ginawa ni Kuya Jay, look at this. Five assists, paring Shinbu. Yeah. More than 90% yes. ang kanyang kill participation the first yes. seven minutes. Yes, the utility of this gadget, the surprise attacks. Ladies and gentlemen, it has toned down. But again, Archangel's better control nitong ating mapa ngayon against Bren Esports. Still, any massive ultimate Yes, would be is the crucial. game changing, oh, game changing scenario para dito sa Brandy Esports. I, you, do, parang Nanini, si, naniniwala pa rin ako doon. Ngayon parang nagigets ko na ata ang Gushan pick dito ng Archangel. Oh, okay. It is actually uh, a pick para mahuli oh, si Paring Coco dito on the back line. Ang, mag, ang akala dito ng Brandy Esports, si Kilua siyang magpa-flank. Pero meron din ganong ability yung Gushan. Uh, automat dalawa yung dash mo, uh, uh, kita mo kagad. At yeah. wala namang pang-negate sa'yo Ma yung hanabi. Pare, I will admit, na narinig mo ako nung nakita akong pinili yung gushot, sabi ko, ang pahangit. Ang pahangit, oh, sinabi, sabi ko yun, sinabi mo yun. Sinabi, sinabi ko, oh, oh. Uh, there's the highest doubts on this gushot. But this is clearly proving us wrong. 4-0-2 on to Rio. Oh, my Leading team. his teammates. And the best item for the Gushon. Concentrate. Concentrated energy. Holy Trinity para sa Gushon. Lightning Trunch and Clock of Destiny on Et top of that concentrated. Eto na. Tiwala lang, Gushon. Nako. Ang sinasabi dito ng uh -oh. Archangel, paring Shinbu, tinawag na ng mga anghel. Yeah. Ang Panginoon, ito ang yung, Lord. Ito yung Lord in game. Outside the game, everybody's praying here at the left pavilion. Whatever the come out, the, the turnout will be. Oh, This my. is gonna be very, very big part of the MLBB history. Oh my G, walang download, download ngayon kay Coach Panda. Naka-ultra instinct, Kuya Shinbu, tandaan mo. Ang Ultra Instinct, nagpakulay, naging puti ang buhok. yon ang pinakamalakas na form ni Goku sa Dragon Ball. Malagoko Dragon Ball dito. Ang Archangel, Ultra Archie. Instinct. Ultra, Ultra Instinct. Instinct. There is the Lord knocking in. How this initiate be done? First up, nilagyan ang putong dito ng ating crack. Lumapit si Pain. Uh. At sa'yo na sa bunutan. Immortality getting practice to follow up mula kay Haze. Oh, no, meron nakapatay dito. Maring ko is Jet Cutie forever. At ito na ang Dragon Ball na galawan. Shala! Head Shala! Ubos ang dalawa. Ubos ang sabihin. dalawa. Isama mo pa yung Torre dito sa gitna. There we go. This is very close. But will they push the issue here? No, they won't. They would have to take it twice. The champion that they want to be. Oh! And there goes Jay. Getting the pick up on to Hayes. Jay with the Katenang Ginto. Kajamon Dragon. Oh! oh my Yung Mayanig. Yung Mayanig. Ang Le Pavilion, that is yo, he went all in! Archangel ah! is gonna be finishing this instant, though no minion may be available, there is Genoa as well, focusing on the pain, will this be the final team fight? Oh my G, Ribo ang natira dito, kumakagat! There we go! Siya, si Kapitan ang natira, Lipad! Archangel Lipad! Ang bagong kampiyon ng MPL Season 3! Ark Angel! The Redemption Game! Revenge of the Fallen! The Storyline Kuyashin! Jet Beauty Forever! I'm taking my talents to Munoz! The momentous moment here at the Le Pavilion. We are crowning what a moment. A new champion that is Archangel Lipad, Archangel Lipad. Jeff coming in, switching his team. Rio amidst all doubts, 
being a champion, Kiluash, a child prodigy, Losty, Jay, and of course, Coach Panda. Panda. Sabi nga dito, sa mga analyst natin kanina, si Nabe, Jeff Cutie Forever, ako naman ang magbubuhat ng trophy. What? What a, a game. What a game. What a moment. What a game. What a moment. And friend, another devastating loss para sa kanila dito, Kuya Shin. Another attempt here from one of the strongest teams known in the country. Just speechless right now. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng umatend ngayon sa mga taga-probinsya na dumayo pa dito sa Pasay City. Sa mga nanunood sa bahay nila, sa mga nanay at tatay, sa ating mga marshals at sa ating production crew. Sa mga pro players natin. Sa mga pro players natin. Meron po tayong bagong kampyon. Art 